Hi everyone, it's Norm here. On today's episode, we're going to be learning about the Culver's Root. This is an extremely showy flower that was named after an 18th century physician, Dr. Culver, who actually prescribed the roots of this species at risk as a very effective laxative. So stay tuned to learn more about Culver's Root. Culver's root is a tall perennial growing between one and two meters in height. So these flowers here are sort of past their prime, they're starting to seed out. But uh, normally after the blooming period, which is uh, July through August, these uh, flowers are anywhere from white, pink, and even some purple. The leaves grow in groups called whorls of three to seven and they are serrated and usually occur widely spaced on the stem. Culver's root is the only member of its genus here in Manitoba, so it's unlikely to be confused with another plant. Culver's root are found more widespread in the United States, but here in Canada, it can only be found in Manitoba and Ontario. Now it has been introduced in Nova Scotia as well. So the habitat that they grow best in is in areas that we're standing in right now, along wooded edges next to prairie openings. So if you're looking for Culver's root, that's really the best place to focus on. Because of their dwindling habitat, Culver's root can also now be found growing in ditches, road allowance, and along fence lines. Now, the maintenance involved in these structures, such as the spraying of herbicides and mowing, can pose real issues for Culver's root. And now that they are more visible along the ditches and fence lines, culvers root are commonly dug up to be brought home. So folks think that they are a very beautiful flower, which they are, so they want them to be in their home gardens, where it has to be said they don't do quite as well as they do in their natural environment. Now I definitely think that our native prairie wildflowers should stay in their natural habitat that is after all where they do best so thanks for watching this episode everyone and we'll see you next time